Jesus said to go into all the world. This is a proactive word. How do we take the initiative and create opportunities to converse with unchurched people? This is what I love about the streets, shows and festivals. Although there can be a value in the come and see approach, like inviting people to an outreach, the heart of the Great Commission is to go and tell. But isn't this type of evangelism outdated and irrelevant? Well, it does depend on how you do it. It's all about people skills. Let's discuss five principles or tips about engaging people cold turkey. Number one, feel the fear and do it anyway. Paul wrote, I came to you in strength and courage and with much boldness. Uh, hang on a minute, no, that's, that's not right. He actually said, I came to you in weakness and fear and with much trembling. Even the great apostle Paul struggled with fear. All of us feel it, but it's how we respond that counts. Unfortunately, there's no pill to take to eliminate fear. It takes courage to create opportunities. But God promises to be with us, and in our weakness, He is strong. Having the support of others makes a huge difference too. And most of the time, we actually find that our fears are unfounded and we'll have a relaxed and enjoyable time. Number two, never let the conversation develop into confrontation. Sometimes things do get a little bit icy, but you can reduce the tension by being quick to say, I respect that you believe something different, using a bit of humour, and through body posture that's relaxed, as compared to staring them out. This is definitely one of the advantages of using a visual gospel tool, as you can stand or sit beside the person that you're sharing with. Number three, don't let anything about you put them off hearing the gospel. Wear clothes that are appropriate. Smell good. I sometimes get bad breath, so I carry mints in my pocket. First impressions are important. You never get a second chance at a first impression. Then, as you discuss things, don't invade their personal space. Don't be too intense. The more relaxed you are, the more relaxed they will be. Speak quietly, as though it was a personal and private conversation. And smile, because this diffuses tension. Number four, keep it interesting. Cold turkey evangelism is where gospel tools really come into their own. They help you create opportunities, help keep you on track and away from jargon. But if you use a script, don't let it become monotonous. Be conscious about sounding interesting. Keep it varied and fast moving. Number five, connect on the same emotional level as the person you're talking with. I remember sharing the gospel at a park and I had a blast with a couple. They were a real laugh and we connected well. The next person I approached was obviously down, so I lowered my tone. I soon found out why. Her friend had committed suicide that morning. How we connect emotionally can make a huge difference. There are two things I look for when choosing who to approach when on the streets. People who look like they have time, like sitting on seats relaxing, and people who are away from others. This allows the space to have a private conversation. If they're really interested, you could meet up again at an appropriate place, or you could invite them to something your church is doing and offer them a ride. Getting their details and following them up is particularly important if they respond by surrendering their lives to Jesus. Regarding shows and festivals, to run a stall at a festival, just contact the organisers and apply to have a stall. They're normally very happy to take your money. We use a big sign that says, are you a good person? Take the test, free. This is a great draw card and it helps us create opportunities for conversation. Have you done the test? What test? The good person test. It's really good, it takes about five and a half minutes. Want to give it a go? Sure. Then we either use the G7 app on an iPad or tablet or a gospel flip chart. Festivals are a really good opportunity to involve your church. People can pray, they can give towards the stall cost, they can help set up, and they can give out cards and tracks. Those who normally wouldn't share the gospel might see that it isn't so scary after all and start to take it another step further. Your team can have a great impact through engaging people on the streets and at festivals and shows. Every opportunity is worth it. Enjoy your discussion, and in the next tutorial, we cover some keys to initiating meaningful door-to-door -door conversations. <laughs>